YouTube. My name is Jonathan Ivey. Welcome to my channel. Um, I'm a professional fighter that, uh, well, uh, that has nothing to do with the fact what we're going to do today. We are going to eat heavily and uh, let y'all guys get to know us. This is my good friend, Chatty Bobby. 11, buddy. Chatty Bobby, baby. Woo. Go down to the description below and uh, subscribe to Chad. That's, the, that's the term. Subscribe to Chad's channel. Um we're just. How can we get to know each other better in front of the folks? I, I feel. I feel like we should just. We. I think we know each other pretty well. We're really good buddies. But I think with mukbangs, man, that's that's the best way to do it. Just talk to you know talk to each other, ask each other some questions and some of our favorite stuffs and uh, you know top stuff and we'll do that. I guess while we're just eat an enormous amount of food. Yeah, you want to show them what we got here? This is White Castle. Uh, well, we have we have a plethora of. I don't know if that's picking this up, but yeah. we've got, um, I don't know, we'll run through that suitcase. We've got fries, cheese sticks, chicken uh, ding-dongs, whatever they are, uh, chicken rings, chicken cheesecakes. Ding -dongs. We're just going to run through it, get to know each other better, let y'all get to know us better. Um, thanks for coming and checking out the channel. Yeah, for sure. We've got some, uh, looks like we got 10 cheese, plain, uh, um, chatty, blandy, I don't like a lot of flavor. And then we've got the plain, or the we got cheese plain. Then we got the regs, the Reggies, mm. and then we've got some jalapeno cheese, right? I'm, I, I mean, I, I'm willing to try new things. I've never you had are. Those, you're you're a grown man. If I'm you not, think I'm not going to dive head first into that, you're silly. Yeah. You really are. <laughs> um. Yeah, I mean, it, uh, we got some cheesecake too to just just to cap it off. Why are we being so polite and uh, sophisticated right now? Let's just go, bro. Let's just go. I'm just going to just it. go. First um, thing, you you go right for the meat, which is typical. I, I'm gonna open up this zesty sauce. I've already started on the. I'm sorry. You're, I, 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 you, you're zesty. I'd rather go after the meat than be zesty. I guess. Huh? Oh uh, no. well, well, Chad. Well, know. I don't know what uh, that even meant, but I think there's a ceiling to this friendship, and it's because of that fact right there. Um. So, right off the bat, let me just tell you, I'm I prefer White Castle over Crystal. What about you? I'm gonna be honest. I don't know a difference. <laughs> I mean, is there a difference? The when, you're, difference. when you're this fat, there is. Oh. Um, I think maybe I'm I'm swaying towards this side because they have a movie. They have a few movies out because of oh, that. Oh, yeah. Howard and Kumar. So maybe that's swaying my opinion. Um, these fries do want to make you slap kick every one of your grandpappies. Are you going to do ketchup or is that just silly? Um, I mean, we can. It slows the process it down. It does. It's, yeah. I mean, it's like you have to open the packets and everything. Yeah. Who wants to do that? In 2018. It's 2019, though, so. Yeah, it's 2019. Um, but, yeah, Mukbang, that's what this is. Mm. My boy, Ivy, we've been buddies for a while now, and so glad to see his channel doing well. And he's, I appreciate everybody that's been going towards his channel. I try to push it as much as I can. And uh, and that is appreciated, Chad. For sure. Absolutely. That is greatly appreciated. And I don't know if I show it enough. You do. But you're my friend, and I appreciate you. You're my friend, man. As we're taping this, we leave tomorrow for Atlanta, so we get to spend three days together mm -hmm. in Atlanta together, 24 hours a day. We'll see how much he loves me at the end of this three days uh, weekend that we got coming up. We also got some, my boy Jordan, my boy Tony, and his wife, Melissa. She's going to be responsible for all of us children. Um, so we'll see how that goes. We're looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. Did we say why we're going? Oh, for the Days of the Dead Horror Convention. Yeah. Because we love horror movies. and we're I'm a horror guy. He's a horror guy. We'll make it happen. Absolutely. We have different tastes in horror, clearly. We got, we, you always got to reiterate that. Should we tell the viewers what our, our, fra our favorite is? We might as well. Yeah. Our favorite horror-ish movie of 2018. Go ahead, Chad. Mine is going to be Hereditary. Um, we talked about, I mean, I've talked about this movie so much. He despised it. And I don't, it's not my favorite because he despises it. It's my favorite because I thought it was the best horror movie this year. So, if you haven't mm -hmm. seen it, don't walk, run. My favorite is A Quiet Place. Um, Great movie. Typically, I'm a slasher fan, but I really liked A Quiet Place so much so that I ranked it above, you know, Strangers Pray at Night and Terrifier and these moves that would typically be my number one Hellfest. But Quiet Place, I, I think, is quite a bit better. Hellfest didn't make my, I mean, um, Hereditary didn't make my top 10, but, um, how close was it? Not even in the ballpark. It was, it wasn't as bad as the witch and Lords of Salem, but it wasn't even in the realm of good. You know? Okay. So 
How many movies did you see this year? 50 something, 60 something? Probably 45, I think. Where would it be on that? Woo! Um, le- low 30s, I'd say. Okay, um, well, that's not the, la- it's not the least favorite. It's not the least, but, uh, you know, because it was well acted. It was well mm-hmm. acted. But it was so slow. I mean, I felt like I died and been reincarnated by the time that thing ended. Slow yep. process. I get it. Well, we'll stay on the board the, theme. And the payoff. I thought the payoff was good. I mean, a woman floating up to a treehouse? Come on, bro. After two hours? Um, oh, did that just happen? It did. It's a, it's, you don't I don't, I don't think it's supposed to do that. It's, it's the movie right. sucks. I saved you some trouble. Trust there me. There we go. So, we'll stay on that theme um, because... If we just sit here and eat and then just talk about the food, I mean, we all know White Castle, I mean, it is what it is. You're getting this kind of, it's 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 delicious, but it's going to destroy you for I'll let days. Chad pick, because I'm a gentleman. It's, a nothing, southern it's all on me if, if, if bad stuff ensues. But that's fine. Um, we're going to talk about some horror movies still. Come on. What would be your favorite slasher movie of all time? Are we considering Leatherface a slasher? Yeah. Okay, it'd be the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Okay. Gunnar Hansen. My all-time favorite horror movie. It'd never be... I've never seen nothing better than that. I can't imagine it. Um, it looked like a documentary. It really did. It scared me as a kid. It still scares me. Um, I love it. It's a perfect horror movie. Uh, um, What's your favorite? I love that movie. I can't stand Franklin in that movie. Paul Pertain? Me and Paul Pertain used to be pen pals. We Facebook, I mean, not Facebook, we emailed back and forth each other. Hashtag pen pals. Is that not cool to be a pen pal? I didn't know. I mean, of that's... course I wasn't. Jerk. I hate Paul Pertain. He sucks. No, he was a nice guy. He was actually a nice guy. I love you. Hashtag pen pals. Um, I love that movie. My favorite slasher of all time would be the first Halloween. Um, I love Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I love Nightmare on Elm Street, the first one. I know he's not a big Freddy fan. Mm-mm. The first Friday the 13th, I'm not a huge, I, I like that movie. I'm not a huge fan of it. What was your favorite Friday the 13th? Part three. Absolutely, that's my favorite. Second favorite. Uh, either part two or part four. Part two. Yeah. Least favorite Friday the 13th. Jason X. No, not even close. Part nine is mine. Jason goes to hell. Oh, the Jason was the zombie. He, he's a zombie. I mean, he's inter- taking people's bodies with the little demon. Horrible movie. Um, but yeah, Halloween's. I guess you could. I, mean, I guess it's a slasher, right? Halloween is that absolutely too. a slasher. That's yeah. what I mean. That's what I would consider my favorite horror movie. That's what slasher. started the slasher. Yeah. Well, um, they give credit to Halloween for starting the slashers, but. Black Christmas was before that, and um, there was one more slasher that was before that that doesn't ever get the credit. I'm a fan of, well, Texas Chainsaw was like 73, wasn't it? Yeah, Texas Chainsaw and Black Christmas. I think Black Christmas was maybe 74. When was that first one? Mm, I can't remember. I think it was. What was your, so obviously... Your favorite horror villains would be Leatherface. I got them all tattooed on my leg. Yeah. In this order, Leatherface, Captain Spaulding, Jason Voorhees, Michael Myers, Ghostface, Victor Crowley. That's my order. Okay. Okay. I ain't mad at you. You know what's all about. Let's um, hear your order. My order? Um. I'm what? sure it's Leprechaun, Chucky, all the ones I don't no. watch. Uh, I mean, I would say my I would say Leatherface would be my my the one I'm scared of the most. And then I'm you're gonna make fun of me, but that's fine. I I love Freddy. I love Freddy Krueger. Um, and then it would be like Michael and Jason, and you know like Captain Spaulding, all those, like all those underneath that. But Leatherface would be my the one I'm scared of the most. Did you see Freddy with the power glove killing people? I don't count that one. Oh, we don't count that one? No. Power Glove. From the Nintendo. For all you old Nintendo classics, Power Glove. Kill people with it. Where are we going, Chad? 
Let's see. Well, we, I mean, it's just, we're, I'm going to get made fun of we're, we're, no matter where, which road we travel down, but that's fine. Not anymore. Not anymore. I'm making a commitment right now. For the rest of this video, I'm not going to say one condescending thing to you. Okay. We'll say. Um, we talk, let's, what else we want to talk about here? Favorite, top three favorite rappers of all time. You only pick three. Here we go. You know my three. And you know, no, well, I know, but the, the people. I know, but you know my three aren't the typical average that's fine. person's that's, favorite but that's three. Your, they're your favorite, though. Okay. My fa three favorite rappers of all time. Number three, Stump Diddy. Stump Diddy. Okay. Stop, stop. I love his verses on CWB, I for an eye. Love him. My number two, Jelly. Mm -hmm. And when I say jelly, I'm saying gambling on a white boy three jelly, mm -hmm. mid grade miracle jelly, yep. deal or no deal jelly, trap trap jelly. That's the jelly. My number two. Yeah. My number one. Stack the Mac. Haystack Mac Million. And when I say Haystack Mac Million, I mean portrait of a white boy from start to finish. Mm -hmm. Car full of white boys. Mm -hmm. Boom. That's my top three. Like it or not. Am I in your top 20? <laughs> if you think I don't listen to Fat Boy Swag, know, you're, 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 you're being silly. I know you do. All right, let's um, hear your top three since you're the rapper. Uh, top three favorite rappers. I mean, people are going to get mad at me. I don't care. Eminem's my number three favorite rapper, man. Okay. Not new, not so much new. I mean, I liked Eminem's new album, his newer stuff. Like, but that, those first four albums, Eminem, three albums, <clears throat> are really good. When he was dissing like Christina Aguilera and Britney Spears and all those. Mm-hmm. Thought you said you weren't gonna say anything kind of. I what? I asked if that's what the albums you were talking not about. Not those songs. You know, Eminem shows the greatest rap album I've ever, ever made. You, is that you, the you real just, slim stage? Please no. stand up. Mm -mm. Is that the cut your eyelids open and all that? No, that's <laughs> one with Superman with 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 um, sing for the moment Haley song. That's my favorite rap album of all time. Oh, that one. Mm -hmm. Eminem show. That's right. Oh. What's your number uh, two? Um. Uh, This is a complicated process here. Yeah, it is. It really is. Tech Nine will be my number two favorite rapper of all time. Don't you laugh at me, dude. What's wrong with Tech Nine? Tech Nine is crazy, dope. You not a fan of Tech Nine? I can't understand you. It. it sounds like somebody speaking in tongues. That's what old people say. What? <laughs> I can't understand it. I like. But I, it's not just him. The Buster Rhymes and the Yellow Wolves. I can't understand. I mean, I, I don't. Love, I love I've been hitting the head so many times. It's got to be slow for me to get it. You know what I mean? Okay. My favorite rapper of all time is Tupac. It's not even close. He's my favorite. He's always been my favorite. Um, hmm. Why are you? I don't understand why. Like I supported every one of your decisions, and you scoffed at all three of mine. I just named Eminem, Tech Nine, and Tupac as my three favorite rappers, and you scoffed at all three of them. Scoff is a strong word. Well, you I like, asked. Huh, huh, no. Huh, I asked. You mean the Eminem that talked about Christina Aguilera? Yeah, I didn't I, say any of that. I, I to, support it because I like all three of those artists. I like. was asking if it was the Eminem albums that you liked as the one where he was picking on teenage girls. I, it's not that. I, I was just trying to confirm. Okay. 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 Jeez. Tupac is the best storyteller of all time. Can you Can you debate me on that? Storyteller and rhyme form. Tupac, who you, who's better than Tupac? Storyteller. Well, you know who, I, who, who I'm, I'm going to say is a great storyteller. Don't say Slick Rick. No. Who? As far as telling stories yes. and verses? Yes. Haystack. Okay. Okay. I'm a fan. I love Haystack. No, I'm not, I'm not knocking Stack. Let's do this. Stack. Let's do this since we were in your realm. So let's come bring it back to my way. Top three favorite fighters of all time. I don't you like go first. Fighters like that. Um, Leave us off. Favorite fighters of all time? Uh, 
Jonathan Ivey, Jonathan Ivey, Jonathan Ivey. I mean, I can't argue with any of those selections. I mean, I get, I, I don't want, I, I'm not, that'd be like me asking you your favorite WrestleMania matches. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't watch fighting. I mean, I watch you fight. Mm -hmm. And I'll watch every now and then if somebody's on you. But I'm not like, I don't watch it. I'll just watch you fight. Fair enough. We'll say, you no. Know, My favorite wrestler of all time would be Dusty Rhodes if you did want to ask. Absolutely. That. Can agree with that. We'll, we'll say, we'll say, we're just going to say you for all three spots. I don't give a I don't shoot. I don't give a shoot. You've got a potty mouth, and you need to work on that. You do. You're a grown man. You're very sophisticated and an intellectual. Emma? You've got, your vocabulary is amazing. Thank you. And um, I think you can do better. Who's your three favorite fighters? Well, I don't have three favorite. I have one favorite, and it's never going to change. Tank Abbott. I wanted to be Tank Abbott for practically my whole career, but... I would say Tank Abbott and Travis Fulton are like up on a, the Mount Rushmore mm -hmm. of my favorite fighters is those two guys. And then for different reasons, but, and then everybody else, there's a big gap and then yep. there's yeah. a big pool of other people. What, did, did you ever get to fight Tank Abbott? Mm -mm. No, you never got to fight Tank. Fuck it was Shamrock, talked about though. one time. Well, Ken Shamrock though. I did fight Ken Shamrock. Uh, I fought 26, 27 guys that's been in the UFC. Big number. You're just killing it. It's killing it. Making things it. happen, baby. It's killing it. It's killing it. Um, let's continue this. Favorite rap group of all time. Top three favorite rap groups of all time. Top three favorite rap groups. How can you spring this on me? All right. Because you already know in your head, don't you? Well, maybe. Yeah. I think. I'm going to go favorite top two. Because okay. there's, there's two up on my Mount Rushmore. Rushmore? My <laughs> Change the rules. I'm going to talk right. to Favorite rap group. Mount Rushmore of rap groups, in Jonathan Ivey's opinion, is number two. <coughs> Don't say that. Street Military. Who? Don't play with a gun. <laughs> Tears came from making this dream. I got nothing. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look them up on my Apple Music. I'm going to leave. Wow. Street Military. Comment your favorite street military song in the comments. <laughs> Out of Houston, Texas. Okay. I love Texas rappers. Clearly, um, you know, uh, my number one is going to be the Ghetto Boys. Okay. And now here's the thing. Everybody always likes Scarface the best. I wasn't that guy. I always liked Willie D the best. I Willie felt like the, Willie D, just his delivery, mm -hmm. I just liked it better. Yeah. Scarface was always really laid back, and he wasn't bad at all, but... Mm -hmm. I would say the Ghetto Boys, um, favorite two rap groups. Number two is Bone Thugs and Harmony. They're, they're, they're I, mean, another, I mean, it's just 100 miles out. Oh, no, that was condescending. And I didn't mean for it to be. It's the first mm. of the month, and I didn't mean for that to be condescending. That's fine. That's who made me want to listen to rap music. I listened to nothing but country music until I was in sixth grade. Nothing but country music. I wanted to be an Oak Ridge boy when I was a kid. I used to sing it. I used to sing Elvira. We're trying to gain viewers, Chad. We want I'm them just, to come. I'm just building. I'm just building this. And then I heard Crossroads, and my I wanted to be a rap star for the rest of my life. If I said um bapa um bapa um bapa mau mau, what would you say? Or if you were a child, I'd be like, oh, it's kid. He wants to be Elvira. Or he wants to be an Oak Ridge boy. I don't want to be Elvira. She's a beautiful woman, but. Number one favorite group of all time. Honestly, he's my favorite rapper of all time, but I didn't put him in the top three because he's more it's more of a group. UGK is my favorite group of all time. Pimp C is my favorite of all time. Okay. I just didn't put him in that because he's I consider it as a group. If you think I'm gonna hate on Port Arthur, Texas, you're silly. Pimp C is good, oh, good man, choice. He's the best. I love three six mafia too. That'd be my number three. Shout out to Chance Rich. Heard said. Hmm. Your Don't big, you do three six mafia? You said. Hmm. <laughs> Are you a big crunchy black fan? No. DJ Paul, Project Pat, Juicy J. Oh, okay. Project Pat. Are we calling Project Pat three six mafia? I mean, it's, he's, his brother is Juicy J. Does he not get a pass for? Okay. Well. All right. Well. Let's end this before. No. Favorite TV show of all time. 
You see, you keep asking things you know the answers to because it's gonna make me look weak in, in the camera. Well, you're gonna be you're gonna be big bad Chad on here. You told me to ask Mountain Man Chad, six foot eight. You told me to ask you questions. I'm asking you a question. You know the answer. It's Dawson's Creek. I was in love with Joey Potter for my whole youth. Chad, go ahead and giggle, laugh, snicker. I'm and not. I, I love that show. I'm not gonna snicker at you. I told you that. You loved it? Yes. Who did you like better, Jen Lindley or Joey Potter? Um. I love, I mean, Joey Potter. Yeah, the girl down the creek. I love her. I like Jen. No, my favorite chick was was Eve. Whoa! Eve was the hottest chick of was all it, was time. Was it short blonde hair? So, Brittany Daniel, is that her name? Uh, I think so. Who knows? doesn't matter. She was in Joe Dirt. I would drink her mm. bath water. That's interesting. <laughs> that, that, that just took a turn that I wasn't ready to go, Chad. I, I'm, I, mean, you can laugh, I mean, you can laugh at us all you want. My friend can probably beat you up, so... Favorite TV show of all time? Seinfeld. Man. All times. Not even close. Seinfeld's my favorite show ever. Um, make fun of it. I just I just backed you up on Dawson's Creek. Dawson's, yes. And Seinfeld was popular. It did. You've never seen an episode. You've never seen an episode of Seinfeld. No. Um, but I know you've got a crush on that lady that lived next door. No, let's segue. Favorite so, top three celebrity uh, chicks ever. Top three all time? All time. All time. All time. My top all three. All time. My top three babies' mamas is what you're asking. Yeah. Can you go first? Sure. Go. <clears throat> Number three. I'm going to have to go. With, you're gonna make fun of me. Neil Carter, Beverly D'Angelo. Never heard of. From Vacation, Clark Griswold's wife, the hot wife from Vacation. The fifty year old. You said of all time. I'm talking about in her prime. She was fifty in that movie. No, she wasn't. She you know she was married to Al Pacino for all those years, and he was knocking that off. Who's next? Estelle Getty, B. Arthur. You got a big crush on B. Arthur. Jennifer Aniston. I, I like that one. Jennifer Aniston. Baby. Not top three, but I do like it. Whatever. Beverly, Beverly D'Angelo. Beverly D'Angelo, the girl from Friends, and then who's number one? Julia Louis-Dreyfus from Seinfeld. Elaine from Seinfeld. <laughs> laugh all you want, dude. You can laugh all you want. And this is the guy I do movie rankings with. I go for substance. Do you know how much she's worth? I don't know anything about that. I'm talking about physical attraction. I love her. I, Seinfeld's my favorite show. Why do you think that's one of the reasons? Because of Julie Louis Dreyfus. Okay. Um, well, are you ready for my top three? Go ahead. Because with the my mainstream. Top, uh, I'll go ahead. My top three does right. not feature Rue McClanahan, so you might be disappointed. Okay. Um, go ahead. Golden Girls reference, guys, for those who don't know. All right, number three, I would say Blake Lively. Mainstream. You mad at me? No, I'm not mad at you. She's okay. beautiful. My number two, Christina Aguilera. And I mean, Genie in a Bottle, Christina Aguilera, not the other one. When she was, when she was, I don't even know if she was 18. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to say she was 19. Okay. All right. My number one, Gwen Stefani. I'm not, I'm just a girl, Gwen Stefani is what I'm talking about. The you're ponytail not, with not the a, dot. You're the not, dot right here. You're not a fan of like... The dot didn't do nothing for you. Because none of your... Well, Blake Lively is another one. <laughs> I like petite women. That's fine. There's not... I don't I'm, wanna, not, I'm not hating on you. You think I want a girl I got to wrestle with? Like, let's uh, wrestle, baby. No, I'm just saying that was a very good list. I yeah. thought my list was good. It was very refined. It you're... Was like, it was... I, I, what do you want me to say? You said of all time. <laughs> your list is going to be drawn SSI before my list for sure. <laughs> So, At least my list is old enough to drink. You can't say nothing. Well, let's end this. Let's mm, get it over. Mm. All right, guys. Thank y'all guys it. for watching. Okay. I mean, otherwise, we're going to end up getting in a fist fight. No, I definitely don't want those problems. So let's just, I'm, it's all friendly. You want to get in a rap battle? Uh, no, I'd probably lose that now, too. I haven't been rapping in a couple months. You was rapping earlier. I got, I got, I got, what's that called? Bars? I got, no, I don't. I really don't have bars. <clears throat> you okay? Yep. So, yeah, hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. I had a lot of fun. Um, we might do this again if we don't end up getting into an argument later on. We're not, I don't, we're not ever going to fight. Absolutely not. No. Absolutely not. This will be my worst night. My buddy, I appreciate everything you do. Go appreciate subscribe you. to Chatty Bobby 1130 channel. 
uh, it'll be in the description. Tell your friends to subscribe to my channel. And, um, yeah, leave a comment. Tell us what your favorites are, guys. You ready? Anything you want to say? I love everybody. Me too. Peace. Peace.